probably the first thing I'll do is give him a big hug and a kiss and say I love you. That's what I always do when I see him. I'm going to spend a lot of time with him. I know when he gets back and I'll probably just won't let go of him. It's a great feat of seamanship. It's a great personal achievement and obviously something Tony will remember all the rest of his life. Oh, very excited. Like a, like a child before Christmas Day. It's gone very fast. The last, probably the last two months has been the hardest. Jordan has really missed his dad, but he's, he's all right now. We expect a huge crowd in Newcastle Harbour. No one from this region has done anything like this before, and he certainly deserves all the accolades he can get. We've done the job. Unbelievable. Tomorrow I'm going to see my children and my wife and all my friends and supporters and people and human beings and land. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. At Newcastle Harbour on the 14th of April, over 25,000 people gather on the foreshore to welcome Solo Globe Challenger and Tony Home. The sixth and fastest Australian to do so. Over $80,000 raised to this point by Tony and the community on behalf of this project. A good mate of mine, Hugh Brody and I, we talk about paybacks. And when you're out here, the good stuff, you've really got to take it when you get it and enjoy it because there will be a payback. And usually the more that you get to enjoy yourself, the bigger the payback is. It's a pity I'm not this good around home. Like mowing the lawn and doing the weeding and all that sort of stuff. Never trust a man that's got a tidy tool shed. A box trailer with lights at work or a library card. You've got the whole three, never trust them. So there is Australia. I left from there, went down, round the bottom of New Zealand, and then headed across here. And there's Cape Horn, our friend over there that we're looking for. It takes a different kind of person to test themselves to this extent. Looking it in the eye, Coping with whatever nature feels inclined to dish out. But I tell you what, you've got to be a plumber or a carpenter, an electrician, the entertainment officer, the labourer, the cook, the cleaner. You name it, mate, you've got to be it. 181 days of discovery, soul searching, and solitude. <laughs> but I decided that what we should do is have a little crossing of the equator party, hence, we've got the balloons out for you. But I wanted to show you one other thing. Super Herbert claims to be the world's skinniest magician. And I'm very honoured to have been allowed to bring one of Super Herbert's magic capes around the world with me to protect me. And I thought I should show you my magic cape. Funny things happen to you when you're here, don't they? You, tend, you think I'm losing the plot? Feelings of elation, despair, anger, frustration and triumph, all uniting to create the experience. I don't know, I don't know what I'm going to do after this, I don't care, you know, whatever it is, whatever it is. Just a lucky bloke, aren't I? Little Aussie guy from Belmont. 